time dropper fam what is up and what a special night we have tonight the golden state warriors are in town so you know what that means gonna be a lot of warrior fans in the building this is my first time seeing steph curry since game seven when we beat them in 2014 obviously last year he missed out on the game and i didn't go to the one earlier this season paul george who hit the game winner against them last game is out tonight he's missing his first game of the season with the hip injury it was a great run while it lasted thankfully we still have Kawhi for 24 straight gonna need more from Harden, russ and everyone tonight brandon boston jr activated maybe we get to see a little bbj but let's see how the crowd is tonight 207 battling one of the four big fan bases that arguably brings as many fans if not more lakers celtics bulls and warriors so let's see how we do it i'm excited to see curry but need that sixth win in a row that would be 10 wins in the last 14 need it let's get it a lot of Warriors fans, as expected. Can't tell you the ratio right now. It sounds about 50 50, though. Defense! Defense! doesn't get much better than that. 13 point lead at the half. Harden going nuts. Kawhi going nuts. Defense looks good. Give me your thoughts. No Jermon Green. That's good. We don't have to deal with him. Uh, barring a complete collapse, I think uh, we're looking good. You know, what more can we ask for? This five game winning streak going for six. 
We've got the New York Knicks up next, but we can't make that in. But we're doing good, you know, having a good time. What do you think about the crowd so far? It seems like, you know, always a lot of Warrior fans, but do you have a 50-50, huh? They haven't, they, haven't been, they haven't been given a reason to wake up yet. That's good, you know? Yeah. But I'm sure they're out here. We, we, know, we're going to win this one? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Here with a Royal Time Dropper fan, Ryan Rojas. How you feeling about that first half? It doesn't, it doesn't get better than that. First half was great. Um, yeah. Golden State Warriors are old, they're outdated. It's time for like a new uh, a new bully to be in town now. So uh, Kawhi looks great, Harden is killing it. I think he's gonna get those 20 points for the 25,000 uh, points in total. And uh, yeah, they're doing great, I love it. First half is great, hopefully they keep it up, step on their necks and finish it off. So you're confident we're gonna take this one home? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the second unit, their second unit doesn't match our second unit. Yeah. As long as we don't go small. I, I was not too happy that we went small in the last couple minutes, but it is what it is. It worked out. But please, like, let's not do that. I, I don't want Terrence Mann at the five and Kawhi at the four and, and then, like, everybody else. Yes, sir. We went in, we're taking it home. Let's take it home. Let's... All right. Here with the Dubs fan. You guys have been going through a really rough stretch, and you're getting, you know, pummeled right now. What are your thoughts on the first half? Uh, it's uh, less than 20 points, not really pummeled. A few threes later, we'll see what happens. Hopefully Clay can get open, run off a couple screens. Um, we need Draymond back from suspension expeditiously, okay. I will say that. Uh, give, give him a betterhelp.net subscription, we'll be right back in the game. We do sponsors for that on Locked On Clippers, actually, BetterHelp. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. I'm a big Lock On Warriors guy as well. Oh, Cyrus? Yeah, oh yeah. Shout out to Cyrus. Oh, shout out Wes Goldberg. Oh, Wes, and he's doing locked on heat these days. Oh, I know, I know. All right, what do you? Any adjustments in the second half you guys need to make? Uh, play Kaminga more, run, play off more screens, and more Curry pick and roll. All right, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Beto wins the best jersey of the night competition with this Randy Smith jersey, the all-time leading scorer in franchise history. How are you feeling about the game right now? It's good, bro. Anytime the Clippers are up against the Warriors, it's all good. Who impressed Fuck CP3. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't, I don't approve that message. How, uh, who's been the most uh, impressive performer for you? Uh, tonight, I, I would say Kawhi Leonard. Slow. He, he's not, he's not trying too hard. He's not moving too fast. He's going at his own pace, which is what the Clippers need. Him and Harden, I think, have been impressive tonight. Are we taking this one home? For sure. Clay Thompson's getting hot. But the Clippers are withstanding the test. Withstanding the run.
Clemens. Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just won a huge one against the Warriors. It wasn't pretty. AG, man, you got talked to by security. You were getting into the Warriors oh, fan. Yeah, today we was getting into it with some weak-ass Warrior fans, bro. <laughs> they wanted to talk that shit in LA, bro. We're not with it, so shit. We, we have to send their ass back to the Bay. Take their ass back to the Bay. It's a W. Shit, man. It was a good win. Norman Power ball, balled out. Kawhi balled out. Clippers balled out. You know, it's a good win. Solid win. We got to keep this going, bro. Saturday, we're back out here. We're back out Saturday. So, six wins in a row now. What's been the most impressive part for you? Honestly, the play of James Harden, bro. He's been really playing well. Team defense, man. Team defense. They have been playing really good team defense. Rotations, you know, staying in front of people, moving your feet. They've been doing a really good job. I mean, shit, I'm, I'm happy to be out here cheering for them, man. I'm happy. The Greyhounds have been warmed up. See you later, Warrior fans. I'm going to be ready. Outside Stable Center where the Clippers have just gotten a huge win over the Warriors. That's now six straight. 
crazy atmosphere in there, man. The 50 50 splitting fans, it always gets us fired up. Rob, how are you feeling? Man, that was one of the, the most loud games this year. There were low key a lot of Warriors fans, but they're real quiet right now. So I feel good about that. James Harden, probably his best game as a Clipper. He had like 28 and 15. Uh, Amir Coffey, 17 points out of nowhere. That was awesome. Uh, and then uh, uh, obviously Kawhi back at it again. Great energy from Russ. I mean, all around great team win without PG. I couldn't, great win. James Harden and Kawhi, they're both unbelievable. You mentioned Norm, you mentioned Amir, but James Harden and Kawhi, how'd you feel about that? You know, that duo was looking good. I mean, uh, James Harden and Kawhi, like James Harden, 15 assists, dude. Like, he's a good point guard. Like, he can really run the point. Um, you know, uh, I, I want to see a little bit more of this when, when Paul George is in there, too. Like, let, let's get let's get them gelling pretty good. But that James Harden Kawhi connection is pretty good. And then James Harden the Zoo as well. Uh, James Harden and Zoo have a great connection. So, yeah, I'm loving what I'm seeing from Harden right now. Definitely not the best performance of the season, but would you say that's the most satisfying win or one of the most satisfying wins of the season? Uh, definitely, man. I mean, I wasn't here at the Warriors one when PG had that game winner. Me neither. But, yeah, that, I think that one would have maybe topped it. But this one was awesome. No PG. Uh, great energy in the game. 207 was rocking. There was a lot, a lot, everyone, like the whole the whole stadium was super loud. Loved it, man. <laughs> Appreciate you, Rob. Hey, thank you, brother. Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just won their sixth game in a row. This one was a nervy one. Electric atmosphere with both sets of fans in the building. DL2, how are we feeling? Pretty good. You know, pretty excited. It, it felt like a game we had to win. We deserved to win it. Uh, hearing PG was going to be out made me a little bit nervous, but it's always been next man up mentality and coffee stepped up and, you know, filled that boy. It's pretty good. Impressive performances tonight all the way around. Kawhi, James Harden, Norman Powell, Mir Coffey. What impressed you the most tonight? Who do you think deserves, you know, a shout out? James Harden. Uh, shout out to him for breaking 25,000 career points, I believe. Top 24 all time on the list. Pretty good. You know, felt good to watch that historically. I think it was 28 and 15. Beyond that, a lot of blocks. I, I want to say like four or five blocks, solid deflections. Um, he was just all over the place tonight. He was doing what he had to do. Um, and it's just something that he's not necessarily known for, uh, but it's completely capable of doing. Um, and it felt good to see him step up to the plate. And he was the best player on the floor tonight. It was solid. Any last words to the Warriors fans that came in the building tonight making a ruckus? Bye. <laughs> Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just won their sixth in a row. Mason, how are you feeling about that? That was a that was a roller coaster. Yeah. What what a game. I mean, Dean Harden getting his twenty five thousand career point, crazy. You know, I mean, there were a bunch of Warriors fans too. I got I had one of them, you know, try to try to come up and square up with me mid game. So that was that was interesting, but um, oh, it always feels good to beat them. Dubs more like L's, am I right? <laughs> the only W is the one here. Yeah, true. Any who the stand up performance for you tonight? You know, Amir played great. No Paul George. We still got the job done. Honestly, it, you're right. It's Amir Coffee. Like when I first saw him in the starting lineup, I had two kind of uh, parallel thoughts of one, wow, that's a that's an interesting choice, and two, if he balls out now, this could be huge for him and he really balled out like he proved like there were quite a few doubters that i talked to pre-game he proved a lot of them wrong like he he has done so well in all the minutes he's had i'm so happy for him hopefully we can get him more in the rotation going forward you think he has a chance to maybe take kobe brown's minutes maybe a little bit but also keep in mind he he's also a bit of a different player than kobe brown right so Oh, I imagine that he won't take all, this won't be like a Kobe Brown and PJ Tucker type situation where he takes all of his minutes. Like he'll he'll definitely get a few he'll definitely get a few of his minutes, but I definitely think we can start to see um uh well, Ty Lu reach more into the bench now, you know, especially more Amir Coffee. Great win. Great win. Outside Stable Center, where the Clippers have just won a big one. That's now six in a row, Ryan. I talked to you at halftime. Yeah. You said we're gonna get the job done. We got the job done. We got the job done, yo. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Harden got 28 and 15 with uh, 15 assists. He got the 25,000 uh, points right there. I'm glad that that happened. Uh, big fan of them. Kawhi handled. Uh, it was a quiet game from uh, Clay. Like he had 30 points. I didn't expect that. Warriors, like, they're real better right now, it's, and it's all good. It happens. But, um, yeah. Fuck Warriors fans for real. It happens. Yeah. It happens. It happens. But, like, um, they're big mad. It's a, it's the end of a dynasty. Draymond's gone. It is what it is. 
But um, uh, Kuminga tried to step up. He couldn't handle what Kawhi handled. And uh, it is what it is. I love it. Like, Clips are, are, are the next man up. And Amir Coffey's the next man up because uh, PG was out. And uh, we had uh, Amir Coffey step up. And he handled business. Player of the game for you? No, it has to be uh, Harden because he had the 28 and 15. Uh, Kawhi, you, you go on his back, but like Harden wanted to do what he wanted to do. He wanted to achieve what he wanted to achieve. So big ups to them. Appreciate you, Ryan. Thank you. I would be outside Staples Center, but the mics messed up my interview. The wind was getting me messing them up. So I'm going to get new mics soon, but oh my God, what a relief, dude. Six in a row, 10 out of the last 13, 11 and eight with Harden. I believe, or is it 12 and eight? I've lost track. I think it's 11 and eight. What a performance from him. I mean, just unbelievable on both ends of the floor. And it's not just, it wasn't just his hands tonight. I thought he moved his feet pretty well, had some good closeouts, some decent rotations where I felt like we were screwed, you know, four on three situation. They caught it under the basket when we sold out to Clay or Steph, you know, threw two on them coming off screens and Harden had super active hands, even had that block on Pajimski, which was amazing. Um, but Kawhi Leonard as well, I mean, He's playing at an MVP level right now. And he's playing the amount of games to qualify. You know, I, I'm still knocking on that wood. But wow, man, just the way he's playing is so unbelievable. The effort defensively, he's guarding Steph. Terrence as well, good defense. And Amir Coffey, what a great two-way performance from him tonight. The brewmaster, the Folger soldier, build me up coffee cup. Whatever you want to say, he performed. And we know he's capable of that. I just thought he was awesome on both ends of the floor, chasing Clay off of screens, even though Clay, he got me so nervous. And look, man, I have so much respect for the Warriors dynasty and Clay Thompson, who I love, Steph Curry, who I love, Steve Kerr, my high school brethren. But the Warriors fans or the bandwagon fans, the Curry fanboys, whatever people were wearing blue and orange, blue and orange, blue and uh, gold. Oh my God, send their asses home, warm up the fucking bus and get on your Greyhounds. Or you just go to your house because you live here from the bay fine I'll, I'll respect to you but all these bandwagon motherfuckers that want to put on a dodger hat in two weeks suck it and get out of here and never come back oh and two and steph curry he helped the intuit dome get one step closer to opening with all those bricks tonight damn right warriors fans are talking hella shit you know how my blood pressure gets when that's why i don't go to laker games that's why i don't go to warriors games against the clippers because i my blood i get too aggravated i'm like ready to like fight someone fuck them but all my Warriors fans that are watching this on Twitter, I love you. You know, you guys know I love you. But the ones that were in there in the game tonight, get on the fucking ground and get your ass out of here, bitch. Six in a row. Kiss my ass. Go Clippers. Subscribe. Let's go! 13 strippers, James. Sorry, I'm going to fucking say that, motherfucker.